Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. Now, I promised that uh, I was going to do a video regarding the numerous questions that uh, everybody that got the vocational study visa to Portugal has been asking me regarding the 365 days of visa that uh, the government issued to everyone, I mean, especially relating to getting permanent, I mean, especially getting the um, residence card or residence permit. Now, um, a lot of people felt or stated that uh, with the 365 days issued to them, they will not be able to apply for residence permit. And so I said to myself that I am going to discuss ways in which after your 365 days, the different things, the different strategy that you should expect from now for you to be able to get your residence permit after your visa expires. So that is the purpose of this video. Now, for those that do not know what visa I am talking about, I'm talking about the vocational study visa to, Portu to Portugal that went viral early this year when we posted it. And in fact, it is the new normal, it is the new easy visa to Portugal now. And we expect that uh, by ending of January 2025 or the first week of um, uh, February 2025, the application will commence again because the numbers of applications they received uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at the tourism school in Portugal was enormous and many people got the visa. Glory to God for that. Now, so, um, I mean, so for those that have been, you know, asking the questions or that have been concerned about after the end of the 365 days of visa, what are the things that uh, how do I get my residence permit? How do I work? How do I stay legally in the country? How do I bring in my family? Among other questions. So that is what I'm going to address on this video today. If you are just coming across our channel, this is Jackpa with your days. On this channel, we provide relevant and informative relocation opportunity to aid your Jackpa plan. And I can bet it with you, this particular visa that I'm talking about is one of the easiest visa options to enter Portugal. I mean, the job seekers visa, they've stopped it, but this particular one is the easiest visa option. So if you have not liked or subscribed to this channel, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all of our social media platform. But first of all, let me quickly talk about some few things that will be very, very essential, especially for those that are planning to apply for the next year um, application. Now, the requirement for the application is quite simple because it is a vocational study visa. Normally, based on what the school advertised, the visa is supposed to be, or the application is supposed to be more than a year because according to the school website, you the, the the study program is i mean the theoretical study program is going to take about one year however there is a compulsory six month minimum of six month internship so but the government decided to issue 365 days visa for everyone so that means that um, after your study visa of uh, one year the school is still going to attach you depending on the course that you study anyway the school is still going to attach you to some uh, partnership organizations in Portugal and EU, I mean, depending on which country or which organizations they have partnership with, they are still going to attach you with some organization for you to partner with them to be able to get practical experience relating to the vocational study that you have done with them. So, which means, I mean, if that be the case, when you are attached to any organization for either six months or another one year of internship, you can apply for extension of visa, extension of your visa, or apply for, depending on if you were able to get uh, the permanent uh, job opportunity with any of the organization they assign you to, you can apply or apply for uh, your residence permit. Now, the visa, the requirement for the visa is, I mean, minimum of 
secondary school certificate, either O level, GCE, WAHEC, or what, whatever secondary school certificate is issued in your country, the minimum requirement for the application is your WAHEC. But if you have HND, BSc, Master, and any other certification that you have, you can also use it to apply. However, the most important thing that I think everybody now should start preparing for is the legalization of your document. Yes, the legalization of your document through the Portuguese embassy in your country. That is the most essential part. When I did the application early this year, a whole lot of people apply, but majority of the people that apply have not yet legalized their document. But, you know, luckily, the school admission committee allowed them to, I mean, give a, almost everybody, everybody ample time to be able to legalize their document and submit a legalized document. So I am imagining, I am thinking that that opportunity might not have, might not be available for the 2025 to 2026 um, admission circle, because I am sure they, they, like they said, that they receive massive application this year. So they might use that as a criteria to disqualify your applications if your document is not yet legalized. So my suggestions for you is that start preparing to look for ways in which you will legalize any certificate that you want to use to apply so that your document will not be among those that will be disqualified on that basis. Now, that said, you need to legalize your document at the Portuguese embassy in your doc, in your country. And by document, I'm referring to your certificate, any certificate that you want to use. And don't forget, the minimum certificate that you can use to apply is your secondary school certificate. Now, another thing that I'm going to say is this. Don't apply to the Agave Tourism School. For some reason, a whole lot of people chose that school as their first choice. And to date, for some reason, they did not hear anything from the school. So which, you know, brought about a whole lot of, um, um, you know, concern because it, some people were even thinking that it, is, it was a scam uh, because they were not hearing anything from them. Luckily, other, you know, cities in this place, Porto, Lisbon, Estoril, and the likes, they were, they, were they were responding to those ones that chose them as their first choice. So my suggestion for you, do not choose Algarve for any, uh, I mean, for any choice, maybe for, because you will have an opportunity to select three schools or three cities in Portugal that you want to do your study in. So do not choose Algarve as your first choice. I mean, if you want, you can choose it as your third choice, but do not choose it as your first choice. And if possible, do not even hurt them to any choice that you have opportunity to choose among the three options that will be provided for you. And as I've said, the applications for admission will be open from the first week of February. So which means you have at least about three to four months to gather all the required documents available. This is one of the easiest visa to land or come into Portugal come 2025. Now, the visa, as I said, is the, the government is issuing 365 days of visa to everyone. So, which means after 365 days, there comes the, you know, the, the concern, the question about, okay, what else do I do with myself? Do I, you know, look for jobs? If I need to look for a job, I need a paper or document to look for jobs. Do I go back to my country? Among other things. So, that is what I am going to be discussing on this video today. Another thing is that uh, this visa allow you to move with your family, but many people did not uh, utilize that option because it is a one year visa. So if you are able to provide justifications with respect to finances and the you know, uh, purpose statement and every other thing to show that uh, yes, you cannot leave your family behind for one year. You need them to be with you anywhere you are going to you can also move with your family on this visa, okay? Now, let's now go to the major purpose of this video. How do you get residence permit or residence card after one year? Now, I am going to say this, that don't wait 
till your visa is expired before you start thinking or strategizing about life after the 365 days of visa you need to start the preparation now and one of the first strategy the major strategy is this if you are part of the people that got the visa and you have say maybe you already have secured bsc or you already have masters you know before you come into portugal all well and good for you all you just have to do is to look for admission either a master degree admission or if you already have master look for a phd degree admission in any institution in portugal and i've posted several institutions with i mean with cheapest cheap tuition fee on the channel already that you can you know that you can explore so all you have to do is to look for um, um, admission or submit your applications for either a master's program or PhD program, depending on your educational background, depending the time that you got the visa. But the most important thing, about 90% of the schools in Portugal or institutions in Portugal require that your document must be legalized. That means that you need to start from now sending in your documents for legalizations and verification. I'm talking about your BSc certificate or master certificate or BSc transcript or master transcript. You need to start legalizing or, or you need to start legalizing them at the uh, different Portuguese embassy in different countries, depending on which country you're watching this video from. That is the first easy way to get your residence permit. And majority of the school in Portugal will be opening application for admission into master's program, BSc program, starting from December or March. So which means you have a circle between um, December of this year or you know, majorly from January of next year till say about May of next year to be able to secure an admission. So that by the time you secure an admission, once you are done with your educational uh, or your vocational study, the normal admission cycle starts by September or October of every year. So which means if you are able to secure an admission with any school, you can immediately use that admission to call the SEP and tell them that you have secured an admission at so so and so school and you would like to apply for a residence permit and you will need an appointment to do that very easy to go very easy. That is the first step. Okay. Secondly, you can also look for job before your visa expire. Yes. And since the study program, the vocational study program that you are doing also we have also comes with a compulsory internship. You can try as much as possible to you know get yourself uh, uh, to permanent that job or to get the job any. The idea is this, if you are assigned to an organization for internship of six months or one year, don't forget the people in charge of the admission, they will be you know, watching your, your, your behavior, the way you do the job, the way you are very committed, among other things, to see if after your internship, if they can offer you the employment opportunity on a permanent basis or you can look for jobs, you can start looking for jobs that will as, at least give you an opportunity with your uh, visa to be able to work permanently in Portugal. With your work contract, you can now use it to apply for residence permit after your 365 days of visa has expired. That is another strategy. Okay? Now, another thing is before your visa expire, expire or say maybe in the middle of your visa say two months or three months before your visa expire you can call the um, um the ima uh, you can call for ima appointment or look for what is called expression of interest to stay in portugal yes there's something called expression of interest to stay in portugal and i know of many people that have used it to stay legally in Portugal. One of the beauty of that is that uh, when you apply for expression of interest to stay, they will issue to you a document that grants you opportunity, is a legal document that grants you opportunity to legally reside in the country and work legally in the country. And after about one year or two years, 
using that document to work, the government will now issue you a, uh, a residence permit. Yes, the government will now issue to you a residence permit. That is another strategy in which you can use to get your residence permit or residence card and live legally in the country. Another strategy is if you have any sort of handy work, like maybe you are you are an hairdresser, you know you are you are an entrepreneur in your country, or you've seen that uh, the Portugal market is viable for you to be able to continue any business opportunity that you have experience at in Nigeria. Say maybe if you are an hairdresser, if you are a barber, if you are an, um, uh, depending on what type of trade job that you have. There is something called entrepreneurship visa. It's under a D2 visa. Yes, all you just have to do is to go to the government and tell them that you want to register a business in the country. You want to reside in the country and register your business. So when you get all the required documents to register the business, you get all the normal paperwork, you've done all the normal paperwork, you can now call the government, the IMA, and tell them that your you want to you would like to change your visa to a d2 visa because you have now started a business venture in portugal and because of that you would like to reside legally in the country and you would like to come and apply for residence card or residence permit okay now another strategy i think that is that should be the third one another strategy is you can also apply to any institution in Portugal to learn Portuguese language. Yes, I know of about two to three people that have applied to universities in Portugal to learn Portuguese language. When they got all those documents that show to them that they are students of, uh, or they are Portuguese language students at social and social university, they call the IMA, which is the immigration office, Stating that they want to legally reside in the country and they have started learning the Portuguese language at social school. And because of that, they would like to apply for residence card. So once you have all the normal documents that the school has issued to you, stating that you are a student of the Portuguese language and all of those things, then you can now apply for residence card. Then the last option, which I think is the fourth or the fifth option for you to get residence card after your 365 days, well, it is a little funny, but I mean, it is real. I, I know of somebody or uh, one or two people that have done it. Find love with, a, if you are a man, find love with a Portuguese lady. If you are a woman, find love with a Portuguese man. <clears throat> with that, when, when, when you guys tie the knot, you can use that to apply for your residence permit and stay legally in the country. Yes, it is funny, but it is there. It is one of the options. I just wanted to put it out there, but I mean, don't go and involve yourself in all of those, uh, you know, scamming opportunities that you will pay somebody to be your wife and, you know, all of those things to trick the government. It doesn't work, okay? Because at least even before they can, you know, they, you guys will have to have been married for about a year or two before the government, so that the government will truly confirm that you two are really serious about, you know, being together. So it's not something that you just trick and maybe one or two months you, you will get, you know, it, it doesn't work like that. They, they will put you through a process to verify that truly the marriage is legit. So I just wanted to, I know it's funny, but it, it, it really, it, it really is strategy. I mean, people use it every now and then. So that's why I, I use the word find love. So I didn't say go and scam person, find love. So don't quote me that they are, I said go and no, I did not say go and scam person. I said find love with a Portuguese man if you are a woman or with a Portuguese woman if you are a man. So it is a strategy out there. I mean, so, but I mean, if the love is genuine, it is very easy to it's very easy to do. So that is one of the ways in which you can legally reside in the country and get your residence permit. So this is the opportunity that I want to quickly share to everybody who are recipient of the vocational study visa to Portugal. And I think this video has answered all of your questions regarding uh, what you need to do after the 365 days. And I'm sure if you put everything into strategy for now, don't wait till your visa is expired before you start running Eta Sketa. This is the best time for you to start strategizing, for you to start 
you know, putting things in place so that you will be able to, you know, prepare yourself. And after the 365 days of the visa, you will be ready to move to the next stage. You don't, the, nobody will say, I mean, this is not like UK, no, no government or no police or anybody, of course, if you don't involve in any shady deals, nobody will send you out of the country. So which means you need to start planning on how to legalize your stay in the country. Your, your opportunity to be able to apply for permanent residence or citizenship starts from the first day that you are issued a residence card or residence permit. So it is, it is for until after five years, once you have up to about five years of residence card or residence permit, at the fifth year, that is when you can now go and pack all your documents to apply for rest, I mean for uh, permanent citizen or permanent residence in Portugal. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all of our social media platforms. Okay? Till we come your way next time. Bye-bye for now.